This video comes with a warning for those who are living in the heart space and are compassionate. It was not an easy video to do since these are the experiences of real people and how it has affected them on a physical, emotional, mental and spiritual level. Each story is different since we're all different, but the common theme unfortunately is negativity and suffering and sometimes on a great scale. Those who claim Universal Credit here in the UK will be familiar with this company. If you're not familiar with it, then please allow me to introduce you. Ingius Limited is British based, but founded by Australian Theresa Ryan, who is the wife of ex-Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. He was the PM between 2007 and 2010, and then again for four months in 2013. Mrs. Rudd received a Human Rights Medal for founding the company, which she sold in 2014 for around $160 million to Providence Service Corporation, which is now known as Modiv Care Inc., who are based in Atlanta, Georgia. Ingius Limited claims to provide employment and health programs with training and support, along with labor hire, probation services and services for young people. It was announced by the UK government that this company would be awarded restart contracts to help millions of people across the country, which would commence from June 2021 and start in the areas of London and Greater Manchester. It states it's tailor-made to support individuals to get back to work, as said by Fiona Monaghan, the CEO of the company. Let's take a look at what people on the programme feel and experience. I've always found Trustpilot to have reliable and truthful reviews on companies and when a company and its staff received 89% of one star reviews it really says a lot with some people even unhappy about giving one star but needing to in order to leave a review. There are so many bad reviews that I can't possibly read all of them but I invite you to go on to Trustpilot and read them for yourself if you so choose. If you're sent on this scam scheme, be prepared for your first induction meeting with your new work coach, since if you're a male, you may be asked, are you pregnant? Yes, that actually happened. Your work coach might introduce themselves by pronouns such as her, she. Most people, me included, don't know what that means since we introduce ourselves by our names. If someone says her, she to me, I just think of a chocolate bar. You may find signs and posters pinned up on the walls which say be respectful and polite to the staff as abuse will not be tolerated. This should ring alarm bells since most people are polite and respectful so why is there a need for signs like this? In my experience it's because the people working there will be rude to you, will disrespect you, not listen to you and bully you. It can be of no surprise that people push beyond their limits, snap back and swear in utter frustration. The reviews speak about constant harassment for appointments which are sent at short notice and also text and emails which are sometimes sent after 10pm on a Saturday, sometimes three or four times with different appointment times on them. Even when people find employment they are still sent messages and expected to attend appointments whilst working. Even people that are one month away from retirement are expected to attend the Restart programme. Perhaps they do so because they are fearful that it will affect their pension since bank details and personal information are demanded. Jobs are pushed at people that are totally unsuitable and it appears that the entire scheme serves only to keep people impoverished and going to interviews that are not suitable at all. Sometimes appointments are in different locations and towns making it hard for people to attend, as well as costing money which is only partially refunded and in some cases not refunded at all. The overall opinion is that the company needs to be closed down as soon as possible and who can argue with that when people are treated this way with bullying being the common theme. There are offices where little gold Oscar statues can be found on a few desks which are obviously given for performances although just what type of performances remains a mystery. Oscars are always awarded after a performance. Perhaps that is a sign from the universe that this show is over for the company. 
Here is part of what one lady has been reduced to. Update on the 19th of January. She is now without money to pay rent bills and buy food as she was forced to sign off as it's the only way she could get off Restart Programme. They're the biggest bullies I've ever met. Anne had her in tears three times last week until she decided enough was enough. I would rather be homeless and live on my couch than spend another second with Restart. Her mental health is shot down to dirt and she's struggling to get up in the mornings now. To that lady, I say, sweetheart, you're not on your own and I want to reach out and give a big hug to you and everyone that suffered under these circumstances. You're very brave in standing up and remaining true to yourself. You know what is right from wrong. Perhaps some of the staff took the job with Ingius, believing that they would help people find work and improve lives. I would like to think so. But some people saw the suffering and upset this company was causing and they chose to stay. I was just doing my job is not an excuse. If your job makes people cry and get depressed, brings people to the point of a nervous breakdown with their mental health and involves bullying elderly and vulnerable people to the point where they choose to risk being on the street rather than deal with you, then you are the problem and not part of the solution. You had a choice and you chose to be on team bully and get paid to do it. What you give out is what comes back. The boomerangs are coming back. <laughs>